Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be discussing about the medical terminology that we'll be asking commonly in interview questions as a part of interview questions and also medical terminology of prefix and suffixes. Like what is meant by prefix and suffix means prefix, the first part in which we add as a first part. The ending part, whatever we add is called as suffix. Okay, we'll be discussing about the medical terminologies and how it actually uh, is pronounced with the word. Okay, before that, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please go and subscribe so that it will send you the notifications up to date so that you can learn some regarding medical coding. And I will gather the information up to the correct information so that I can provide you in a correct and accurate manner. Let us discuss some of the prefixes first in the medical terminology to go to before going to suffixes. Okay. First thing is mono or it is called as unique, which means it is single or one. Okay, for example, you can consider to take as monocyte. Mono means one, site means cell, single cell, which is monocyte. For example, for this mono or unique prefix. The second one is bi, means two. Bi means two, which is bilateral. Bilateral means two sides. Bilateral. Next thing. Diplo, prefix. Diplo means double. It is diplopia. Diplo means double. Diplopia. This is called as prefix. This is as suffix we need to consider. Or that is how it is said. Next is ambidextrous. Ambi means both. Ambidextrous. The people who can write both using using both the hands, using both the hands in a similar way how we write with right hand. They can write in an easy manner with both right hand and left hand who is called as ambidextrous. The next one is called, the next one is called brady. Brady means slow, which can be taken as example as bradycardia. Brady means slow, tacky means fast. I have already said to you yesterday in my video regarding tacky means fast beat of the heart. Tachycardia. Fast beat of the heart then normal. These are called the prefixes. Next. Dia. Dia means completely. Like the patient, uh, the patient present on dialysis is near to the end of the stage like he is on ESRD end stage renal disease the patient will be on dialysis completely on the bed so it is called as dialysis then this this means abnormal for example you can take dysphagia the very meaning of dysphagia is difficulty in swallowing the Ability, inability to swallow. This was the interview question in which the interviewer asked me what is dysphagia and dysphasia. Dysphagia is nothing but difficulty in swallowing. Dysphasia is nothing but difficulty to speak, speech, blurry speech or difficulty to speak. It is to swallow, it is to speech. Next. Retiro. Retiro means behind or back. For example, retroperitoneum. For example, you can take the kidneys are located in the retroperitoneal uh, location. The kidneys are located in, in retroperitoneal region. That is what you can take. Retro means behind or back. The kidneys are located. There, in that position or in that region. These are all the suffixes and there are some more to give on, to write. I'll write on this. I write here. The next one is ab. For example, ab means away from. Abduction. Abduction means my hand is away from the body. That is abduction. Add. Adduction. 
means means towards near towards the board or it is toward adduction okay my hand is towards my board my hand is abduction my hand is away from my board okay these are all suffix prefixes of the medical terminology that you need to learn which which will be an added advantage when you go for an interview now we'll be see about the most important suffixes which will be asked in medical coding interviews suffixes the first one is synthesis synthesis nothing but the punctured cavity to remove the fluid like the physician or the doctor a doctor will punch like puncture puncture la chestaru kada puncture the cavity to remove the infected fluid from the body from the body part wherever it has got spread for example you can take amniocentesis okay this is the example that you can consider here then the second one ectomy we are very most aware of this word ectomy means surgical removal getting surgical removal for example commonly we take appendectomy appendectomy ectomy means surgical removal appendectomy appendix surgical removal of appendix is appendectomy which is called as a vestigial organ okay or you can take mastectomy mastectomy means surgical removal of breast mastectomy mast means surgical removal of breast that is of synthesis ectomy we'll be seeing about orophy orophy is nothing but surgical repair or suture which is hernia orophy surgical repair or suture comes under the orophy next oscopy oscopy means examination or viewing of to examine the condition or the situation like we can take example of endoscopy what will the doctor or the physician will do in endoscopy he will send a pipe through the nose to the to the complete body to examine the parts in the body like esophagus stomach intestine everything that is called as endoscopy copy means examine endo means sending within this can be taken as a prefix endo next we will be considering opexy you know what does opexy mean let's see opexy opexy is nothing but surgical fixation it is a fixation surgical repair is orophy surgical fixation is opexy for example nephropexy nephro nephro opexy surgical fixation next so the next word is otomy which means uh, otomy means cutting into or making an incision for example tracheotomy cutting of trachea or making an incision in trachea region okay which will be over there in the in this region chest region next word is otripsy otripsy is nothing but crushing or destroying crushing or destroying which means for example you can take lithotripsy what is otripsy cutting she crushing right crushing litho means stone crushing of stone is called as lithotripsy otripsy means crushing or destroying which means lithotripsy means crushing or destroying the stones nephrolithotripsy means what crushing or destroying the stones in the kidney nephro means kidney 
reno or nephro is something called as kid. That are all the examples for now which are prefixes. So these are some of the medical terminologies of prefixes and suffixes which will commonly be asked in the medical interviews, medical coding interviews. For more, if you have any doubts, come ping me in the comment section so that I'll be replying you. Please don't forget to subscribe as you'll get the notifications. Stay tuned. Thank you.